Hello everyone, welcome to video lecture. In this module, we will discuss different categories of plants, roots and their modifications. When we look around ourselves or when we go to a garden, we see different types of plants. Some are very small, some are medium sized and some are very big. The very small plants with soft and thin stem, they are known as herbs. For example, grass, they are very short in size. Basil, garlic, spinach, they are very short. So they are known as herbs. And medium sized plants with thin and woody stem, they are known as shrubs. For example, rose, lemon, hibiscus, they are known as shrubs. And very tall plants with thick, hard and woody stems, they are known as trees. Some plants, they have very weak stem. They cannot stand erect. They spread on the ground. They are known as creepers. For example, muskmelon, watermelon, pumpkin, they creep on the ground. They spread on the ground. They cannot stand erect. They are known as creepers. Some plants, they need a support to climb up, such as wall, stick or fence. They are known as climbers. For example, pea, morning glory, bitter goat, money plant, etc. A plant can be broadly divided into two systems, root system and shoot system. The part of plant that remains below the ground is called root system. It arises from the radical of the seed. Now, the functions of stem. It fixes the plant to the soil very firmly. It absorbs water and minerals. It translocates water and minerals to the stem. In some plants, the roots store food also. Roots are of two types, tap root and fibrous root. Tap root it is the main root that grows from the base of the stem. This root is broad at the top and narrow at the bottom. And smaller roots are called little roots that grow from the main root. And fibrous root, there is no main root. It has number of thin hair-like roots that grow from the base of the stem. Plants such as grass, maize, wheat, rice, they have fibrous roots. In taproot, there are different types of taproot modifications. First of all, storage. In certain plants, roots become fleshy, thick and spongy. They store food prepared by the leaves. For example, in carrot, turnip, radish, sweet potato, they become swollen and fleshy. They store food. And in some plants, they provide extra support to the plant. In plants like bunion tree, extra roots arise from the stem and the branches. These roots grow downward and fixes to the soil. This type of roots are called probe roots. They provide extra support to the plant. In some plants, the roots enter in the host plants to absorb food. They are known as sucking roots or parasitic roots. For example, in viscum. In some plants, the roots grow upward for breathing. They are known as respiratory form. For example, rhizophora and heritia. Climbing roots. Aerial roots help the plants to attach to the support. In plant like cascata, the specialized roots develop from the stem. These roots help them to absorb water and minerals from the stem. In plants like sweet potato, dahlia, bamboo, parts of plants give rise to new plants. And these young plants grow to become mature plants. Now you have learnt there are modifications in roots to store extra food to provide extra support, to grow new plants, to get nutrition and for climbing. Thank you and have a nice day.